34 lawyers defend suspected killers of Deborah Samuel in court. Hello everyone, welcome to the news. The total number of 34 lawyers defended Billy Aminu Aliyu and Aminu Hukunchi, the suspected killers of Deborah Samuel in court today. The defense team was led by Professor Mansur Ibrahim. Deborah Samuel, a 200 level home economic student of Seoul Shagari College of Education, Sokoto, was lynched by a mob on May 12 over alleged blasphemy. However, the suspects, who were co students of the deceased, were docked at the Sokoto Chief Magistrate Court for their alleged participation in the crime. When asked to take their pleas, they pleaded not guilty to the crime. Prosecuting Khalil Musa told the court that an investigation was in progress as Deborah's corpse was seen in the morgue at the Usmanu Danfodio University Teaching Hospital Sokoto. The leader of the defense team, Professor Monsieur Ibrahim, then applied for the bail of the suspect on liberal terms, citing constitutional provisions and sections of the administration of criminal justice law. The trial judge names withheld for security reasons, however, reserved the ruling on the bail application and ordered the accused to be remanded at a correctional center. Before she was lynched, Deborah was accused of denigrating Islam on a WhatsApp chat forum set up by her cosmates and refused to retract as post after she was asked to pull it down. A violent street protest followed the arrest of suspects linked to the lynching of Deborah as the protesters demanded their immediate release by security operatives. Governor Aminu Tambowa consequently imposed a 24-hour curfew on Sokoto Metropolis on Saturday. He relaxed the curfew on Monday to be observed from dusk to dawn. So this is the update coming up from the trial of those involved in the, in the act of ending the life of Deborah Samuel. As the world is looking out to Nigeria to see how the case is going to be handled, we hope that this situation will be put under control to avoid further escalation and honestly i think there should be a definition of what we want as a country and how we choose to tolerate and live together in peace and harmony nigeria does not deserve any kind of chaotic situation right now as we prepare for the election next year as at the time of this report it has been entered that bono state is also experiencing a kind of unrest due to religious reasons which way Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel and drop your comments in the comment section below. As Nigerians, if we decide to stay together, we need to practice tolerance and ultimately love one another. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next news. Bye for now.